just touching them and the smile and the, yeah, something about that I can't explain it, but it's a good feeling. These furry four-legged friends can bring cheer anywhere they go, and that's just what they're doing at Stanford Hospital. He'll go up and greet people if we're walking through the halls, but he just he likes the attention. As part of the hospital's therapy dog program. These friendly canines visit patients several times a week to uplift their spirits. Otis, a three-year-old Bernice Mountain dog, has been visiting Stanford Hospital for about two years, one of many stops he makes throughout the week. It's incredibly rewarding watching what a difference you can make, whether it's to school children or to elderly people or to, you know, people who are in a hospital and that's, you know, never, you're never there for a good reason. Um, it's you know, always a little bit of a downer, and to see a dog come through brings a smile to people's faces. Otis and his buddy Skyler visited with patients Friday afternoon, bringing some cheer before the weekend. It actually just li lifts your spirits. I mean, you're sitting in a kind of dismal, you're doing something that's dismal anyways. I mean, it doesn't matter why you're here getting your infusion, and you have an animal come that's just happy and fluffy and exciting. You know, you come in here and you're a little tired. I don't look forward to it. I don't like chemo. I get it every three weeks. Um, and I was actually just sleeping and I heard the dog and it perked me up. It's, you know, they're innocent. They don't care. You know, they love you unconditionally. Administrator Judy Stone says the program took off around 2011. She says it warms her heart to see the happiness the dogs bring. It's a little man sitting in his wheelchair, just did like this. He said, this just made my day. And it was, it, you know, that's why we wanted to do this. That's why we wanted to bring the dogs in because that means so much to that little man. It meant a lot to me too. The staff absolutely loves it as well. You know, these our nurses, our doctors, everybody, it, it's a hard job here. The first annual National Therapy Animal Day will take place Monday, May 18th. And Newman is encouraging those with animals to make a difference. Pet therapy work is incredibly rewarding. I highly recommend it. If you have a dog that has the temperament you think would make other people happy, certification is not that difficult. For more information on getting your animal certified, visit PetPartners.org. Reporting in Stanford, I'm Samantha McKelvey for It's Relevant News.